Well, for less, less than one week of practice, I was very impressed. Impressed with their conditioning, their cat-like quick, quickness, speed. I told you beforehand in the press conference that you were going to see a lot of turnovers. And uh, obviously you did with 34 and 25. Um, but I, I really like their conditioning without substitutes with the pace of the game. Um, the guy that impressed me the most of the whole game was Donovan Mitchell because he played with pace. The other guys played too fast, didn't change their pace. Donovan looked like a complete basketball player. He never got tired. He played with pace. He changed his speeds, and he looked really good. Obviously, Jalen was a workhorse. Um, you know, he just was relentless. Now he's got to get inside more and post up more. Ray is very difficult to pass over. You know, it's um, it's a scary thing for a guard to have to. If you don't go around him, you've got major problems with his wingspan. So a lot of really, really good things. Um, Honest, the last two days of practice, he had his worst practices of the year, and he was out of it for some reason. Uh, he, he didn't look good tonight. But overall, I, I give him a high grade for less than one week of practice of picking up a pace, pressing the entire game without substitutions. Lim uh, timeouts were a minute 30. So uh, I was very impressed with all of them. Now we just got to get our turnovers down into the teens, and then we got to get it down to like 10, 11, and 12. Yeah, he's a speed merchant. He's very, very fast. He's got Peyton Siva type speed. And um, we're working on a lot of things with him. Um, but he's a speed merchant. Coach, do you want to have the guys get up shots as quickly as possible? Or are you just looking for the first good shot to take? Yeah, we're trying to uh, beat teams down the court, move the basketball first, make four or five quick passes before they get into action. Tonight we ran a lot of pick and rolls, and I wanted them to throw the ball inside a little bit more, um, and, we'll, and we'll work on that. But I, I look for for limited number of practices. This was a great performance tonight by the guys. I, I was very surprised they could press the entire game and keep up this pace. A couple of them, there were guys even in his face when he, when he wasn't open. And, and well, he's got great arc. He shoots at a Steph Curry rim. You know, guys with great arc, uh, like Donovan's really improved his arc. Um, you shoot at a big rim when you have arc like Ryan. Now we got to just get him to cut down on his turnovers. He's very clever. Um, he's going to be a good basketball player. You know, guys like Ryan McMahon and Russ Smith just need time. You know, Russ didn't come into his own until his junior year. Other guys like V.J. King are ready to play right away. You know, certain guys are ready right away. Other guys aren't. What did I think of it? Yeah, like I think that's what you see in practice all the time. You know, they, they're both Jalen and uh, Ray. You know, I think the three spot and the four spot are strengths of our ball club. I thought I thought Quentin really had ten turnovers tonight because he ran with the ball a couple times and didn't get called. But I think he's terrific. I think he is. Um, I don't know. I don't ever see him get tired. He amazes me with his stamina. But he's got to cut down on his turnovers. He he catches the ball and runs with it before he dribbles a lot. And that's one of the things he's got better, but he's terrific. He's an um, outstanding, outstanding basketball player. It seemed like uh, you were using the big guys, both Mott and Anas, to you know, get the ball in transition when you're inbounding. Is that something you're looking for those guys? Well, they flash, and they're supposed to pass it opposite right away. And both of those guys, you know, the weakness of our basketball team is, is its passing ability, um, and that's where we got to get better. Mango's also a weak passer. So if there's one area, it's our fundamentals of passing. And so we'll go to work on that. The, the great thing about it is the, they have adopted their pace, their defense, their shot blocking, their quickness, uh, very athletic basketball team. Now, it's very difficult to learn to play at this pace. Uh, I've only really had one team do it in my coaching career, and that was 96. And um, I showed them the first half of, of – um, it, it looked like – a. TV without HD, but it, I showed them the first half of LSU uh, versus um, Kentucky when we had 86 points last night. And I said, this is the pace we want to play at. Um, and it was, it, the pace was equal, 
the passing was not. So we'll get that. Of the turnovers tonight, what are the easiest ones to fix? To correct? Well, like you're coming down the break and you got a seven foot of honest wide open. And you can't, the one pass you can't throw is a chest pass. You got to throw a lob or a bounce pass. And he threw a chest pass to his opposite shoulder, Tony. Uh, so he'll, he'll learn that. seems so much better. Is he where you want now? Because this time last year, he might not have been able to be as strong at the end of the game. Well, 21 points and 20 rebounds is, is done good without, without little breaks. And then you got the other power forward with 18 and 15. So, you know, it's a strength of our team. The three and the four is a strength of our team. Definitely the one is a strength of our team with Quentin Snyder and Donovan Mitchell's the two. I, I, you know, I, I don't think the, f I, the five is by committee. You know, it's a, uh, Anis has just got to get stronger. Mats is much improved. Uh, he's actually a very good free throw shooter in practice. That would shock you, but he's exhausted, and uh, he could barely breathe, and I wouldn't let Mike take him out of the game. Yeah, he just runs out of the lane too much. You know, great post-up players are guys that can get one foot in the paint. He's running out of the paint too much, but he'll, he'll get better at that. The next, you know, the next red-white game, I want to see significant improvement in the passing department. I think we can shoot. I think we're athletic. I think we've got good length. Uh, we ran two diff three different presses tonight. We have four, but one goes into a zone. I didn't want to play any zone. Anything else? How do you evaluate your ball handling when Quinn's out of the game? Well, Tony's tough to press because he's so fast. You know, he's very, he's, but now he's got to learn what to do with it when he breaks the pressure. Um, you know, he gets to the rim, but he's got to learn to hit people. Um, but Donovan and VJ are very cool customers. Really impressed with Donovan Mitchell. You know, he, he, gets, he had way too many turnovers, but uh, love his jump shot. The other day we had 17 pro scouts in practice, and he just blew them. And they were all amazed at how much better his shot looks. Um, and he's worked very, very hard at developing arc on his, on his shot. Those are thousands and thousands of shots over the summer. And obviously, you see Ryan McMahon's got great arc. Um, and he's going to get better and better. They're all going to get better. It, that's a good thing about this basketball team is they all have so much growth, and nobody's quite near his potential. Now, maybe Quentin is. He's probably the only one near his potential. The other guy's nowhere near it. All right, it's a great start. I'm really pleased. Thank you.